This video is going to demonstrate how to make a keynote presentation using an iPad running voiceover. So I'm on the keynote app on my home screen. I'm going to double tap to open it up. Keynote, show sidebar, button. The first thing I want to do is create a presentation. So I could right swipe and go through all the toolbar at the top and through some other things, um, or I could simply just drag my finger down from the top left Search. where the Text back button sidebar. is. But, sir, create presentation. Actions available. And when I drag down to create presentation, and then I'm going to do a split tap. Select alert. Create a presentation. You heard the little sound that told me that there's a pop up, and it's on the create a presentation pop up. I want to choose a theme, so I'm going to right swipe. Choose a theme button. There it is. And I'm going to select that by a double tapping. Cancel, cancel, button. All right, so now I'm gonna choose my theme. I have used this theme recently, so it shows up under my recents. I'm gonna to go to the showroom theme. And so I could, again, right swipe and go through all the different things that are at the top, or I can just simply drag my finger down along the left-hand side. So I'm gonna start at the top, the cancel button. Cancel, button. That's in the top left, and I'm choose dragging down. Recent. Recent showroom dark gray fonts on light gray backgrounds and there's the showroom. I'm gonna split tap showroom dark gray fonts on light gray backgrounds Presentations button So you notice voiceover normally goes to the back button which in this point is Presentations it would take me back to the presentations page. I want to Stay in that toolbar at the top and change our or create a name for this book So I am going to right swipe Canvas, title, oh. presentations, view options, button, undo, dim, presentation six. There we go. So I started in the top left-hand corner and did right swiping, and I'm under presentation six, or whatever presentation number that would be on your iPad. I'm going to select that with a double tap. Present alert, rename, button. And I'm going to double tap on rename. Rename. Canvas, title, double tap to edit, text box, double tap to edit. Now, my voiceover jumped down to the text box um, at the title. I want to make sure I'm text in presentation. Um, presentation 6. Insertion point at end. Presentation 6. To misspelled words. Clear text. Button. I did a right swipe once to clear the text that's already there, which is presentation 6. I'm going to select that clear text. Clear text. And now I'm going to go ahead and double tap to make sure I can um, actually... Um, add, point at end. There we go. And now I'm going to call this Cap all Cap L. Cap Cap about Cap me. Okay. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put my finger on the middle of the screen in order to get to that title box, that title text box. So anywhere title, in the middle. Double tap to edit. Text box. Double tap to edit. So it said title, text box, double tap to edit. So now I'm going to select that because I want to open it up. Canvas, select it. Title, double tap to edit. Text box, double tap to edit. Text field. And it's telling me it's the, the title text field. I want to double tap one more time. Now I hear that sound that tells me I can type. I'm going to go ahead and use my Bluetooth keyboard, but you could use your keyboard that's on your iPad as well. Um, it's much more efficient to use a Bluetooth keyboard. So I'm going to go ahead and Link type. Not found. Uh, let's see. Selected. Title. Insertion point at end. All right. Copy. I'm typing in Copy. all Copy. about Copy. me. Copy. That's the name of my title, uh, the name of this presentation or this book that I'm making. I'm going to do a right swipe. Body, double tap to edit. Text box, double tap to edit. So double tap to select. Size, 1,800. I'm going to go ahead and double tap. Selected. Body, double tap to edit. Text box, double tap and to edit. And now I'm going Text to field. put in, uh, um, I need to go ahead and double tap one more time. So I selected it. Now I'm going to open the edit field. Selected. Body. There's my sound. Edit. Text box, text field. Is editing. Insertion point at start. So it's, down it's, to select a custom action. it's interesting now I use a two finger just tap um, to make voiceover stop talking because it'll go on and give you lots of information. We don't need to listen to all of that. 
So again, a two finger single tap will stop voiceover from chatting. Um, now, normally you don't have to double tap twice to um, select and then to double tap again to open that editable text field. So with Keynote right now, that's what you have to do. So if it doesn't work the first time, if you didn't hear that sound that it's opened up to an editable text field, and if you visually can see the cursor flashing on the screen, you, then you know you're ready to go ahead and start typing. But if you don't get that sound or you don't see that visual cursor, double tap again. All right, so I'm gonna put the name of the student. I'm doing this as if I am a student himself. Um, and the student is Hunter. And we're gonna put the date in here. Okay, so now this is my first page or my title page. The book is called All About Me. Hunter's the student that's writing it. And then I put the date in. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is add a new slide. And so to find that in Keynote, it's gonna be um, on the left-hand side towards the bottom. So it's the next thing. If I right swipe from this text box, right swipe once will get me to the add slide option. Add slide button. There it is. So I did one, one right swipe. Now I'm gonna double tap to open. Canvas, selected, body, text box. Text field is editing, 103 Okay, so now this is actually a glitch in Keynote right now. My voiceover focus stayed on that last text box. It should be over here on the left-hand side when the pop-up came up. Voiceover focus should have gone over here to the pop-up. But since it didn't, I can touch anywhere on this left-hand yeah, side. Center, button, title center, button. And it will tell me the different options I have for the next slides that I want to put in. So on this next one, I want to do the photo horizontal. So it's a horizontal, a landscape version of a picture, and below that is the text. So I'm just going to swipe. I happen to know that that's at the top one of the first couple of options, so I'm going to swipe left. Photo horizontal button. There it is. But you can go through here if you... Um, want to see your different options. You can do vertical pictures, you can do bullet points, you can do title and bullet points, you can do multiple pictures on one page. There's lots of different options. So you can listen to the description or the name of that particular slide and then choose the one you want. So I'm doing photo horizontal. I'm going to go ahead and double tap it. Selected. Title. Double tap to edit. Text box. Text field. Is editing. Insertion point at start. Swipe up or down to select a custom action. Then double tap to activate. Use the rotor to Okay. Accept. So now I am on my text box and I do have my cursor going. So I can go ahead and type in um, the first slide is my name is. So I'm going to type in. Okay. So on this particular slide deck, uh, if I use this slide, it is going to be all capitals. And since I have a beginner reader here, I am fine with all capitals. If I didn't want all capitals, I could go in and change that, or I could choose a different slide deck, or I could use this slide deck, but choose a different slide. So, or, you know, a different theme or a different slide here. So I have my name is Hunter. I'm going to ignore the second option. I can put in a body of text and I'm gonna ignore that. So I'm just gonna leave it alone. It's gonna show in print in this view, it'll show double tap to edit. But when I hit play, that'll all disappear. Now, there is a picture of a motorcycle in the middle of the screen that takes up probably three fourths of the screen. I want to change that and add a picture of Hunter. So I should be able to left swipe to get up to it, but swiping ignores the image. So I'm going to just yeah, put my finger anywhere in the center of the screen. And I listen again when I do that. Double tap to select. Size, 1,005. Okay, double tap, double tap to select, and then it goes into the size and it gives me the size of the image. So I could listen to all of that information or I can skip it because what I really want is that plus button to the right of the image. So I'm gonna right swipe to find that plus button. Selected, title, double tap to select, selected, 
Title, double tap to select. Oh, Size, actually, I had to double, double tap, tap to first image. and then to open up that image, then swipe replace right. Button. Okay, so now it said replace image. Is that plus button is replace image, and that's where my focus is. I'm going to double tap on that. Re alert, choose photo or video button. And you heard that little sound that told me there's a pop-up and it says choose photo or video. I have the options of take photo or video or insert from. I'm going to choose photo or video. So I'm gonna choose double tap. Video. Double tap to dismiss pop-up window. It opens Alice. automatically Button. into um, my um, photos app and I am going to, I can swipe photos. through and find. March 25th. So right now, I know that the date that I'm looking for was March 25th, so I'm gonna go ahead and select that. If I'm visually impaired and I've added a caption, I can open up that image and listen to the caption and know what it is. So let me go ahead and demonstrate that very quickly. So I'm going to double tap on that image. Photo, March 20th, canvas, selected, image. Double so, tap to edit image mask. Swipe up or down to select a custom app. So when I select that image, it's going to open up um, and add that image automatically to my keynote. So now I have this image of Hunter, his face, and then below that is my name is Hunter. I wanna make sure that I add an image description into my keynote. So I'm gonna to touch the image Selected. again. Image. Double tap to edit image mask. And you hear that it's the image. I'm going to um, double tap on it. Image mask slider visible selected. Oh, I don't want to do Text that. Box selected. Double tap to edit image mask. I'm going to touch the image mask. Swipe up or down to select a custom action. Then double tap to activate. Middle right image handle. W. One okay. I don't want all of selected. that information. I'm going to come up to format button. So my toolbar is at the top. I'm just going to drag my finger right. up to the button. top. Format button. Ah, there it is. Format. So once I find format, I'm going to activate that. I'm, since I dragged, I'm gonna do a split tap. Dismiss pop-up. Double tap to dismiss pop-up window. And so I hear it's a pop-up window. Um, there are three options, style, image, and arrange at the top of that. So Select I was it. on image last time, but normally style. you would start on style um, if it's the first time you've opened this up and you'd have to right Select swipe it. to get to image. image. Two of three. When you're on image and you select it, it will show this screen where it's edit mask, reset mask, instant alpha, replace and description. And so I wanna come down to description because I'm gonna add an image description. Arrange, edit mask, reset mask, instant alpha. So I'm just replace. right swiping. Button. Description, button. There's my description. I'm gonna double tap. This description is used by assistant image. Back button. And I'm gonna right swipe until I get to my text field. Description. This description is you type to enter text, text field. Double okay. tap to edit. Use the rotor to access misspelled words. And I'm gonna double tap to open it. Insertion point at end. Again, I heard my little sound. And I am just gonna say, um, let's see, this is three and a half year old hunter with a serious face, okay? So now I should be able to do a two finger scrub to get out of here. When I do a two finger scrub, nothing's happening. So right now I have to do a left swipe. This description is used by assistant technology. Again, again, and another image. left side. And when I'm on the back button, now if I do my two finger scrub, it will work. Takes Style. me back. Button. Presentations. Button. And two finger scrub again will get me out of that. So again, that's another glitch right now. I should be able to do a two finger scrub and it would immediately take me out. But currently I have to go back to the back button and then do my two finger scrub. Okay.